Hey everybody! Welcome to Jess Plays Murder at White Rose Academy. We are probably in the home stretch. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Um, you know, I I don't know. I thought we were in the home stretch before, and we were definitely not. We were on chapter one, so who knows how long this is gonna go? I think we're getting toward the end though, because we're in the final. We're in chapter three, and we've already uncovered pretty much everything except for the connection between our father and the murder. So I'm pretty sure we're going to wrap it up today. Alright, so when we last left, we were Ronko and we were checking out what was going on in, uh, you know, in, uh, What's-Her-Face's room. Sayuri's room. So now... We're going to go ahead and go to wherever it was we were going to go that I now forget. <laughs> oh right, we're going to go outside the dorm and check out the... the window. Alright, so here we are. We're outside the dorm. Uh, I don't think I can interact with much of anything except the shiny. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, at this kind of height... Okay, at this kind of height, it's not exactly something you could just shimmy on up to. And even if you climb one of the trees around here, it's way too far away to jump to. Huh. There's no way you could have gotten up there. Huh? Wait a second, what's this on the wall? Are those... Footprints? The fuck? Who the hell left these here? Ah, shit. Alright. Well, I guess for the time being, I could better go back to Sayuri's room. Mobile call. Oh my, if it isn't Lanko-san. Hey, 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 what the hell's up with you? We're supposed to be in the middle of a investigation here. What's going on? Well, I've made a rather shocking discovery and development. And how about you? Hey, ch ch oh, shut up already! Uh, I'm about to head up. Oh, I see, huh? Hmm. Actually, now that you mention it... Could you take this, uh... Okay. Actually, now that you mention it, could you please take this thing to the lost and found in the... Student council room? Huh? Uh, sure. Uh, whatever. I'll fucking do it. We got the mystery key! Uh, um... Uh, my arm strength is, uh, about at its limit. Ah! I'm so sorry! Huh. This thing, huh? I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. That's right! Ah! It's the key for this diary! Hmm, alright, let's try opening it. Opened it. Ah, so it looks like there's a picture and a letter in here. Oh my god, I can't believe it! Oh no, is she dating the teacher? Then he killed her? Oh shit. Mobuko, you're- Well, I mean, you were pretty much- Your fate was sealed, I guess. When your first kanji was chosen, but- Ah, <sighs> looks like it's raining, huh? Ah, <sighs> thank you so much, Mobuko-san. Mobu-san. Oh, no problem. It's a student's duty to help the teachers. Ah, uh, you're so kind. Ugh. Could you put this over there on that desk? Hmm, where is it? Sorry, it's really dark. I can't quite tell... Ah! Oh, it's right in front of me. Uh, it's, it's right in front of you. 
Right, right there. That's perfectly fine. That's perfect. Uh, cell phone! Ah, your phone is ringing, Yanagishita-sensei. Yuriko-san, what are you doing here? Did I ever give you my phone number? Sensei, this number is the one that was left behind in Okabe Sayuri's cell phone. Are you the man that Okabe Sayuri was so taken with? I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Moboko, get out of here now. I am about to challenge Inagista sensei to a duel. A duel? Oh my god. I, I want to be here and watch over it. Moboko, I'm so sorry. Please, do this for me. All right. A duel? Why would you want to duel me? Because you are very deeply... Uh... Okay. It's because you are extremely connected to the death of Okabe Sayuri. Yanagishita Kosuke. I am going to expose your secrets! Well, I mean, I don't have anything that I'm hiding, so go ahead, do as you like. Uh, Yurine? Okay. Alright, Yurine, you can have a look at all the logic I've stored up in my cell phone. So when you're ready, just give the word. Can I save? Yurine, you better not fucking lose. Alright, let's go. Debate, duel, debate, duel, debate, duel! Yuriko-san. I don't have any secrets. I swear on the right white rose. Oh shit, you have a lot of HP. I cannot let my let myself be fooled by the way he looks. Looks like this is the kind of person that I need to make sure I have a clear line of reasoning for. Alright, so as we established, you were the man that Okabe Sayuri was so enamored of. No, that's not right at all. Hey, hey! Your number was in Okabe Sayuri's cell phone. And the only other people in there were her best friend Tanabe Aya and her parents. Well, yeah, of course I exchanged my number with Okabe Sayuri. It's not because of that any- but that doesn't necessarily mean we had that kind of relationship. I mean, that's going a little bit- jumping a bit to conclusions, don't you think? So what you're telling me, Sensei, is that you and Okabe Sayuri were not dating. Exactly. Alright. Uh, alright. Sold on the ship. Uh. Oh, I've collected a lot of crap.
All right, I have to assume it's the picture, right? Right? The secret picture? Oh, it's a little bit early for me to use this. I should probably try and lay on my logic more. I'm gonna lay on my... Man, come on. So I could just end it here, but, you know, hey. Wait, do I have to do the stupid number? I get it! Look, you're the one who probably sent this email to- or this text too, huh? Look, even your initials are the set, huh? Uh, my name is Yanagishita Yosuke, so my initials are YY. What? This isn't the same! Hmm, exactly. It's the the point will sold on. No. It's not. <sighs> I'm not really sure. So the the picture is too Yeah, all right. I'm going to I'm going to intentionally uh hang on. I'm going to reload cuz I need to think about this a little bit. Hold on. Okay, and we're back. Uh so I'm thinking about this <sighs> I don't think it's the rope. I tried that, that didn't work. Uh, the wet part thing, that's about the sensei hmm. I wonder if it's this one? Like, it's not this, it's not, um, on his, uh, Resume, but maybe it's this. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember what this is. Okay. Okay. This is the record of how many times Okabe Sayuri has left the uh, left and come back to the school. Um. And when Kamana K had her little incident at the, conveni at the convenience store, you just happened to be out. And just by chance, Okabe Sayuri also happened to be out. And that day, Okabe Sayuri in her journal wrote about a date that she had had with a boy that she was very, or with a man that she was very taken with. All of this is just a little bit too much to be a coincidence. I mean, think about it. I mean, think about it. What was the whole reason? Wasn't the whole reason you left the school to to, to meet up with uh, eh, Okabe Sayuri? Yes, I actually do have another reason. The reason I left that day was because I wanted to go. Uh, I had to go to the convenience store to see about Kawana K. And it was all just a horrible- or it's all just a coincidence. And 
I... Can I use the fucking picture now? Like... I feel like the picture would have been the clincher for the last one, but who knows. Let's try it. Oh, alright, there we go. This is a photo that Sayuri-san had been hiding. And in it, it's both you and Sayuri. I would think, like... If you were, like, like illicitly dating your student, you probably wouldn't have pictures taken together. I don't know, dude. Like, people are dumb. <laughs> um... Can you really look at this picture and then try to tell me that you weren't seeing each other? <sighs> Alright, I guess you've got me. I did have that kind of relationship with her. So what? I mean, what, you think it was a crime for me to break it off or anything? I mean, obviously, since she was 16, I probably would be the one at fault. No, I'm not actually, uh, actually coming down on you for dating her. This is just something that I want to make sure of. The thing I actually want to ask is, why were you threatening Colin K? You know, it's so, it's so funny, like, I don't actually care that you were dating your student, but... Like, why are you threatening this other student? This goes back to my thing about, you know, oh, you did a murder, but at least you didn't steal from the Kombini. Like, I, you know, I just, I don't... <laughs> it's so, it's so, it's such like a weird prioritization. I mean, I guess in this case, like, the, the threats are certainly also an issue that you want to address, but... Huh? What are you talking about? Are you talking about Kamina from my class? Please do not play dumb. You're the one I asked. Are you the one that's threatening Colin K? Uh. Look, I know nothing about this. I am not the one who's doing that. <laughs> Sorry, that's not my style. <laughs> because in that one, maybe before that, I was like, I tried so many fucking different things. Uh, is it- where's that- where's the mail she got where it's like, I'm always watching you? I shoot. Uh, Hideyasumi. Uh, it's probably the one for lunch, huh? Ooh, that's tough. Uh, although this- this is talking about, like, it's gotta be somebody on the inside, so I'm gonna go with three. Okay. This, right here, is one of the actual threatening email- or threatening texts. I gotta stop just reading the Japanese, because that's Waseigo. Meiru, like, Ketai Meiru is just a text. Um... <laughs> Uh, if you look at this, you'll notice that it's very clear that the person doing the threatening is someone on the inside of this school. Hmm? And why is that? And that's because there was a day when they sent this mail, um, when they sent this, this text, even though the actual lunch break was, uh, Lunch break was not happening at the right time. Do you think anyone outside the school would know that lunchtime had changed for that day? And besides, there, it's incredibly difficult to get in and out of this school. 
Hmm. Well, I mean, you say that, but... I don't really understand why you're, uh, why you're suspecting me. I mean, do you really think that the fact that I know knew that lunch was different means that I definitely sent her a threatening email? Threatening text, God damn it! <laughs> Don't you think that there's somebody else besides me that would be able to do that? I mean, this isn't very, like... I mean, this logic doesn't necessarily match up. I'm not completely satisfied. Okay, so now it's gonna be two, because this one is talking about the details of the uh, shoplifting incident. Alright. Well, the reason I know it's from you is because in this particular text, is be it's talking about the details of the convenience store incident. On that, on that day and that time, the only person who knew that she had shoplifted was you. Sorry, wasn't just me. There is one more person. Who is it? Um, Kimi? Oh. The staff at the convenience store. I mean, if you asked her... If you asked her, she would definitely know all of the details about the... Know all of the details about the shoplifting. Yeah, but she also wouldn't know the details about the fucking lunchtime. So... Ah... <sighs> You see, I showed up when everything was already underway, so I heard all of my details from her. Since that convenience store is pretty close to the school, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say she's heard the lunchtime bell. So, I mean, don't you think that she's a little bit more suspicious than me? Hmm, something not right about what he's saying right now. Huh. Uh, he's m a much tougher opponent than I would have imagined. What do I do? <coughs> ah, my phone. Sorry, could you leave for a second? Sure, dead. Or could I for a second? Hello, this is Yuriko. <laughs> Yahoo! It's me, the convenience store clerk. Why? You see, someone, a girl just crashed in here and told me that Yuriko-sama was in a pinch. Call her now! <laughs> oh, I can't believe she said something like that. How adorable! <laughs> right now I'm on my break. So I can answer any questions you might have. What do you want to know? Oh shit. Uh. <laughs> okay. So we can either ask what Kawana stole. Um. Say that we want the information from the the um security cameras, or we can introduce Nanko. <laughs> oh man. Um. I'm gonna save. Oh shit! Hit the wrong button. Well, this is what I was gonna pick anyway. Hmm. I want the uh, I want the video from the video from the surveillance cameras. Okay. I can't really send it over the phone. I can't really send video over the phone. But uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and send it along with that girl who came by who came by to tell me you were in trouble. Ah, I got it. All right, so it looks like this is the video. This is part of the video that we got from the convenience store uh, security cameras. Oh, is that so? And what does that have to do with anything? Hmm, all right. This doesn't, doesn't prove anything. Uh, it can't be used as proof. However... 
I feel like I should be able to figure out the truth here. I swear on the White Rose, I will win, or I will defeat this man. Look, you're, you're shown right here. Hmm? Yurine, is that, are you serious? <sighs> All right, well, I am going to have to take that back, but I will not be, <laughs> but I will not be deterred. On that day, you were in the convenience store. So if that's the case, then you should have seen, seen the situation when you arrived. Not only the, uh, or sorry, the clerk wouldn't be the only one who knows about what's going on. Oh, is that the case? Hmm. Well. Then where am I, where am I shown on the screen? Can you show me? Okay, so now I have to point where he's going to be shown. I'm going to go with right here. I don't know how big this hitbox is. Person wearing the hood. It's extremely suspicious. This, could it be? Enlarge and enhance. <gasps> this person's uh, left hand. This person's left hand uh, has burn scars on it. Nagisa Sensei, could you please show us your arm? Come on, show it, you fuckface. Ah, you've got burns all over your left arm. So the person who's on this security footage and you are the sa one and the same, no? So? All right, maybe I did threaten her. What does that make me a criminal? Yes, 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 it does. I'm pretty sure there are pretty stringent harassment and bullying laws in this country. Like just going out on a limb here. That's not all. I want you to take a look at the uh, contents of this text. In here, there is uh, information that the convenience store clerk could not possibly know. How could the convenience store clerk know so much about the past of our students? Can you really say that this is a coincidence? How long are you going to keep this up? Let me go already. W what the fuck? Let me go! So what? You just wanted to come out here and accuse me of being the person to threaten Kawana K? If that's the case, then I guess we're done here. I mean, I don't really know what else you can get into at this point. Whoa, those are some intense eyes he's got going there. I'm sorry, but we are not through here yet. There's still, uh, there's still something I would need to know the truth behind. Oh, and what's that? You're the one who killed Okabe Sayuri. What? Good tunes in here. I'm 
decompiling this later to get the get the songs. I can't believe you! Please, don't come out here and throw out wild accusations! I understand that when, a, when you're a student, everything seems larger than life. No, that is not the case. I have plenty of proof to show that you are the one who's behind the murder. <laughs> so, let's see that logic then. The person who killed Okabe Sayuri, the person who threatened Kawana K, they're one and the same, and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so we need to prove that they're one and the same. Uh, what was in... Number one. Oh yeah, because it tells her to get rid of the... Okay. The person who told Kawana K to get rid of the rope and burn it which had to be someone who, who saw that... Uh, Okabe Sayuri had been murdered, had been killed with it. In other words, after you strangled Okabe Sayuri to death, you hung her in her room, and then after that, you called Kamonake to come and dispose of the evidence for you. If you're the person who's been threatening Kamonake, then, in other words, you are the one who killed Okabe Sayuri. Mm, there's something off about that. First off, I didn't realize that there was any any reason. Okay. First of all, I don't necessarily accept that Okabe Sayuri didn't kill herself. And second of all, wouldn't the uh, wouldn't the culprit just have been whoever had found her body? I mean, obviously, I haven't gone in and out of her room. And if you take a look... And if there's no record of me going in and out of her door, then where- how could I have gotten in? Besides... I didn't even have a cell phone at that point, so there's no way I could have threatened Kawanake. I understand that you want to try and set me up for murder, but you have to listen. There's absolutely no way that your logic will hold up. Hmm, that is true. This is something tricky to logic out. But there's gotta be some way for me to pull it together. Hmm, I just need to figure out what it is and pull it forward. Okay, so I need proof that Okabe Sayuri didn't kill herself. Well, I mean, like, all right. Uh, I don't know if it's the. Okay, that's not necessarily. Hmm. This is tough because I have quite a few things that might be it. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we can... I'm gonna go with the footprints on the wall. Nope, that was not it. <sighs> was not the footprints on the wall. Hmm. Is it because they talked about her love? 
plant. Uh. Hmm. I mean, like, you could kind of argue that some of these have something to do with it. So, like, for example, like, the whole thing about, like, the, uh, the rival company and all that, where it's like, there's a very strong motive, but I don't think that that's a strong enough through line for this. So this was talking about the night that she killed herself. It says she got an email from Colin Um... Hmm... Nah, we'll try this one. No, that's a little bit strange. Right, okay. Why would the culprit know? Why would the culprit know about her time of death if she had committed suicide? Oh, well, I mean, because it's suicide? I mean, she she sent text to somebody, right? Uh, no, sorry. I can't believe you actually put Sorry What You Go in here. <laughs> She didn't actually have her cell phone by 8 o'clock at night. Tanabe, Ai uh, Tanabe Aya was actually the one who picked it up and held on to it until the following night. So there's no way that she could have sent any sort of final email out announcing that she was about to kill herself. In other words, nobody... Nobody should have known what time she died unless they had actually seen it happen. Well, I mean, there's ways that you could have found out. I mean, sometimes you just overhear things, you know? It's not just that. It's not just that. Whoever was sending text to Kamana K sent her to the room within an hour of uh, Sayuri's death. So in other words, they had to know exactly when she would die, so that they would be able to send the instructions to Kamana K. Okay, but I didn't even have my phone at that point. So how exactly was I supposed to send her a message telling her to get rid of the rope? According to you, she didn't kill herself, but was killed by someone else. And then that person had asked Kawana, Kawana to go collect the rope and get rid of the evidence. So, based on your own logic, I can't be the person behind it. That is true. He did turn in a uh, did turn in a lost and found a lost item report. Hmm. If I can't prove that he had his phone during that time period, then my whole entire logic will fall apart. Okay. Uh. Did he send somebody a text during that? So we're proving that he had the phone, right? Hmm. 
I mean, like, I guess Yukini could have had it and sent the text for him, which would then give him an alibi. I don't know if we're getting that deep into it, though, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm not 100% sure. And then this question is like, he must have sent somebody a text. So is the logic supposed to be that he couldn't have sent the text unless he had a phone? In which case, it would be this one, I guess? About telling them to get rid of the rope? Ooh, man. Save. Okay, um... Yeah, let's try it. Let's say... Alright, you sent this, this email, it came from your number, so if you had lost your phone... ...then you couldn't have sent it, so you must have had your phone. I feel like that's really, like, shaky logic, but it's that kind of logic that these kinds of games run on, so let's find out! I would like you to look at this here. You see, you sent her a text, and this is your your uh, SMS address, correct? Yeah, and where does it prove that I've sent? I'm the one that sent it, though. I mean, anyone could have picked up my phone and sent that text. That's possible. And when it comes to the So this text that you're showing me isn't exactly the most convincing argument. I mean, it's not proof that I'm the one who sent it. Hmm, that is true. It's not something that perfectly shows that he sent it. But somehow, I feel like the fact... Is there some way that we could prove that he was the one who sent the text? So, are we done here? Look, I've got tests to grade. I need to get going. Ah, what do I do? Oh, you can be okay. Hey, you guys are. Can you guys shut up in here? I can barely hear the TV. <gasps> That's right! Yukimi-sensei! Huh? What? Can you show me... Uh, can you show me the, the screen of your phone? Or can you show me the text screen in your phone? Oh, uh, no! Oh, God, is this the kind of kind of thing you do to teachers in this school? Jeez, what, do you want me to show you all of my personal texts, too? And what the hell are you all doing in here anyway? What it, what is all this? Nah, listen up, it's this Yanagi bastard. He's the one who killed Sayuri. What? Yosuke? <laughs> you think this little turd can pull that off? You give me you give me sensei. I have a question. Lately, have you received any text from Yanagishita sensei? No? Uh, well. Yukimi, you don't have to answer that. Huh? Listen, we're just having a bit of a debate, that's all. It's fine. You're in the way. Get out of here. What the hell is that? Who the hell are you to talk to me that way? Come on, look, I can probably just tell him this. It's not a big deal. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it looks like I got a text from him about... Okay. Looks like I got a text from him on the 5th about uh, the time for lunch being changed. And then I got another one on the 6th about the whole deal with Sayuri. Yukimi-sensei, thank you very much. So, you had lost your phone, as you say. Yes, I did. 
I was able to send those emails to Yukimi, or send those texts to Yukimi, but listen, I used a forwarding service. Since I didn't have... Okay. Uh, since I didn't have a cell phone, I went into the... Um, I went ahead and I called the company. And I had them forward a message for me. And so... The proof is that that, that uh, text address is different, isn't it? Huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. Your address did change, huh? <laughs> Yukimi doesn't ever have a time when she's like, new phone, who dis? She just knows. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I texted you about that. Please, check. Oh, yeah, look, you wrote it right here. Would you mind showing me? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Uh, yeah, that should be fine, right, Yanagi? Yanagi shita? Okay, here you go. <laughs> YY at mail. Yagi shita, you will be at mail. Hmm. They certainly are different, aren't they? Fifth at 10 p.m. Fifth at 11.20. Today, uh, lunch is going to be a little bit late. Be careful. Uh, this email is being sent to the forwarding service. Um, today, I'll be heading over there. Do it the normal way. So, just be ready. Inagishi Sensei, would you mind showing me uh, the texting address on your cell phone? Sure. All right, this is. Uh, it looks like somebody was having a little bit of fun with my phone, and they've gone ahead and deleted all of the, um, all of the sending information. Hey. Hey, everybody. Uh, I don't want to get in the way of what of whatever Yanagishita is doing here in his job, so I'm going to leave the room. Whoa, 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 hang on a second. We ain't done with you yet. Think. Need to think. There has to be some way for me to see through this. Everything that we've gone through up until this point. Something about it has to be strange. Who's calling? It's my mother. Alright guys, sit tight for one sec, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. My mom had a question about some stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> that's why she was calling. All right, let's get back to this. Okay. That's right. Why, why is it that Yanagishita-sensei started talking to Yukimi-sensei so abruptly and roughly? Is it because he didn't want us to know that he had sent any, any text to her? No, that isn't it. The thing that he didn't want us to know wasn't the the text itself. It's that... Okay. It's because there's absolutely no reason to actually delete any of the actual text data. The thing that he actually didn't want us to know was that he had a forwarding service, or that he was using a forwarding service for his phone. Okay. And since there was no uh, record of leaving, okay, of, of leaving the room, 
uh, of entering or leaving the room, it means that and no one okay, there was no record of him entering or leaving, and that means that this the phone must still be somewhere in the school. I mean, it's not here right now, obviously, but it's got to be somewhere. If that's the case... Well, if there's nothing in particular you want to bring up at this point, then I guess we're done here, huh? I have something to look into. Yeah, exactly! I don't want to get in the way of your work, so uh, I'm gonna head back. Peace! Ah, what do I do? Hang on a second! Oh, we'll go back? Oh, it's these guys. Okay. <laughs> the other lesbians are here. I picked this up somewhere. You know, Agusta Sensei. And everyone collectively is like, <gasps> We just happened to find it because it happened to start ringing. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty awful of you to have lost your phone like that. The two of you! Yuriko. You can't lose this. Right, thank you. Sensei, will you take a look at this? This is... What is this? This email address that you sent this from? It's your email address, or it, the text address that you sent this sent this from through the forwarding service. It's your text address. You were using two phones the whole time, and you slipped this uh, texting address in as well. You did it exactly to have an alibi, to say I never had a phone, so I couldn't have sent any texts. This this text address and the one um, and the one in Kawana K's phone from the threat she received are exactly the same. This phone was thrown away in the trash can. I can't believe you and you were trying to bury this kind of kind of uh, huge proof into the darkness, weren't you? Okay, Sama. I'm going to certainly keep it a secret that you were digging through the trash while saying that you had to do it for Yuriko's sake. So you're the one who sent the email to Kawanake about getting rid of the rope! Alright, so what? And if I did that? Does that prove that I had gone into Okabe Sayuri's room? According to your logic, at the time I should have, I should have known the time that Okabe Sayuri died. However, there's no evidence of me on the record of going in and out of her room. How exactly are you going to prove that one? Hmm. How am I going to prove that he knew the time? And there's no record of him on the going in or out of the room. Perhaps I just happened to hit onto the right time. And for that, I have prepared to apologize. However, I'm not going to apologize for a crime I didn't commit. So, can't we pick this up another day and let me go? Alright, everyone's brought everything together. 
this one chance. I can't let it go by. Uh, however... Hey! I'm leaving! Hang on! Uh, wait a moment! <laughs> this is where you lose, Nakajiri Yu Yuriko. You might as well just obediently put your tail behind your legs. I... I can't lose. I promised. I promised Aya. And I decided that I was definitely going to find the truth. I was going to find the truth of what happened... Of what happened to Okabe Sayuri. I can't let myself lose to this twisted version of the truth. But no matter what logic I put forward, it won't be able to prove anything. If there's no sort of contradiction, then there's no question. How can I break through his contradiction? Have I lost? Swear on the right white rose that your logic is wrong. Yurine has ain't lost yet. Don't you go trying to choose don't you go trying to uh, say the outcome of this battle before it's over. Oh, so you still intend to drag this out? Oh, come on, I'm sick of this already. But I don't have any logic to present to him. And if I don't have any logic, then I can't point out any contradictions. I mean, there's no proof that he entered the room. Oh, no, no, no. We have logic that proves that this fucker went in the room. Might as well just make some, then. What a... Make logic? Look, we're gonna combine the stuff we already know. And if we do that, then we might be able to find something new. Ah, that's right, it's exactly as Nanko says. If we look at all of the information we have right now and combine some of it, we'll be able to see something new. Alright, let's try putting things together. Oh, alright. Um. Uh No. Not this one. He's... Alright, the rumor about him? Okay, no for right now. Um... It's this one. Photo... Maybe? But we're not gonna do it just yet. Where's the thing about the footprints? Like, I feel like... Okay, yeah, here we go. So there's there's wetness on the floor. We're probably gonna use that one, but I'm not gonna put it in yet. Uh, that's the second threatening email, or threatening text. This is the fact that he lost his phone. I don't think that'll be anything. Okay, burned rope. I don't think so. Uh, this is the going in and out stuff, but I don't think that's gonna necessarily work. Here we go. Here's the fucking, um... Stuff in the, uh... Okay, so this one I know we need. Okay. So that's one. Ah, here's the logic that Mobuko and Nanko discovered together. It seems as though somebody climbed up the wall from the outside, but how? Alright, and where's the one about the wet floor? No, not this one. Um... Wet floor? Yeah, here we go. Alright, so this is the wet floor. This is proof that we found in Sayuri-san's room. 
And it's proof from, uh... Okay, and it's proof that we had found with Aya. Okay. Why would, um, Sayuri-san have left her window open on a day when there was such heavy rain? That's right. Alright, I've made a promise to her and I will definitely find the truth. Alright, so now those are the two obvious ones. What else do we have? Uh, he's coming in and out. I don't think so, because that was related to the room. What was his Uasa? Alright, well, it's not that one. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think it's any of the threatening emails. Photo. Um. Nope, that's not it. Huh? Oh! It just occurred to me how he got up the wall. It's with the. Oh, we used a ro Oh, man, I thought this wasn't gonna be one of them. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, let's try it. Okay. Ah, and here's the burned rope. Uh, burned rope that, um, Awanake was threatened about. She swore on the truth, and right now, we're going to create this... We're going to create... Okay, what we create here, we will use to not let this chance slip by. That's right! Why, on that day, was... Um, Okabe Sayuri's room so wet near the window? And that's because... The window was not closed. And it's because of the, uh, and that was the reason that the rope was burned. It wasn't just a frame come on a K. There was another meaning. All right. Thanks to all of the logic that you have you provided for me, let's present this to him. There's only one way for you to get into Okabe Sayuri's room. And what would that be? Yurine! There's only one way... Uh, okay. Whenever you can't find a, find a way through, you have to make a new road. Or blaze a new path. And so I'm going to go ahead and present all this logic to you. You are the culprit. <sighs> Alright. So, tell me, how did I get into her room? I'm gonna use these these clues from everyone else, and then I'm going to be able to prove that this man is the culprit. This is the rope that you ordered Kawanake to burn. Uh, you use this to climb up the wall and get into Kawanake or get into Okabe Sayuri's room. And to support that, we have we found footprints on the wall itself. That's how we know. Okay, you must have left them behind when you were climbing up to get into Okabe's room. You're the one who killed Okabe Sayuri. And then, after that, you hung her up just as usual. Okay. All right. Then, because you didn't want to leave behind any proof that you were in the room, you went outside Without returning to your own room outside, 
Um, you left the room open and the rope in the side of the room. So despite the fact that it was raining heavily, that was why the window was open. Am I wrong, Yanagishita Yosuke? You're the one who loses, Yanagishita Yosuke. You are the culprit. <laughs> what do you think the last thing Sayuki said was before she died? Thank you. Thank you for finally telling me how you really feel. What are you saying? You're always looking so sad. You always look like you're in so much pain. And you're always living your life by just telling lies. So, I'm really happy that you were able to finally tell me how you really feel, Sensei. What the fuck are you saying? I'm the one who gave orders to make you- to bully you! Ugh, I want you to die! So what? Even though we were dating, you're just going to die because I wish it? You don't like me! Well, I mean, you're right. I was pretty shocked and a little sad, but... If you... Really, if that's really how you feel, then I'm glad you could feel that you felt like you could tell me. The hell? Even though you may hate me... I... Oh. Crap. Skip. <laughs> Can I go back? Is there a thing? Oh, crap. Hang on a sec, guys. You know what? It's fine. I'll just I'll just get it when I'm editing later. <laughs> okay. Say it. Say it! Say you don't want to die! Say you hate me! Say you can't stand me because I'm always lying! And because I forced you to be bullied! Say it! You can't say shit if you're fucking choking. I love you, Sensei. She sure was weird. Huh. <laughs> Saying she loved me. If she had denied it, if she had said she hated me, then I wouldn't have killed her. <laughs> Why did you chase her into a corner like that? Why? It's obvious, isn't it? It's all for money. Because the principal told me that if I killed her, I, he would give me money. That's the only reason. I thought I wouldn't dirty my hands with it. I would just bully her into suicide, but... Seems as though I had to put my... take it into my own hands quite literally in the end. <laughs> Bastard! Blanco, wait. Yurine? Yunagista-sensei... Your parents were... 
needed uh okay your parents need a lot of um a lot of specialized care don't they i mean you were one of the after all your parents were suspects in the uh the murder case that took down that um took down that famous family and your parents had tried to commit suicide how do you know all of that i mean the principal used the fact that you were hard up for money against you didn't he and and that's how he he got you to act isn't it has nothing to do with it i mean in the end i'm the one that killed her doesn't really matter what the setup for it was i'm a killer uh, i i needed money that's all in Augusta sensei you said that okabe sayuri was very strange because she said she loved you But I think that Okabe Sayuri really did love you. I mean, she went to her best friend for advice about what to do. She was prepared to quit being a student at the school for you. I mean, she did all of that for your sake, you know, Yusta Sensei. If you had understood what was between the two of you, Um, you would understand that her feelings of friendship, um, that even though her feelings of friendship uh, would have strengthened everything, and it certainly wouldn't have gone bad for her. didn't want to cause any trouble for you, so she was thinking of breaking up with you for that reason. Okabe Sayuri was thinking more of your happiness than hers. I think she really did care for you. Why? Why? Why would someone like that love someone like me? Listen, you need to make things right for your crime, Yanagishita Yosuke. Ugh, whatever. Doesn't matter what happens now. I'll just leave everything to you, and you can just do as you like. Well, if that's the case, then before we... And before they call the police, there is one thing I would like you to do. Would you please come with me, Yanagishita Sensei? That man. Principal. Nagajiru. Uh. Takami? <laughs> I need to. I need to. Uh. I need to have a conversation with him. Okay, well, I guess we are going to have some more after this. So I guess there's going to be one more episode? Like an epilogue or something? So I guess... I guess we'll see how that goes. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me this week. Uh, I will see you guys later, and looks like we have maybe one more of this one, and then I'll uh, go ahead and pick out some other stuff to play. Uh, I'm gonna probably put up another video sometime this week, um, or maybe over the weekend, because I'm gonna have to, like, do quite a bit of work over the next couple of days. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll kind of see how everything goes, and, um, yeah, have a great, great week, everybody. See you later!